helping me. Just before we get to your calls, though, some action is now being proposed by residents of buildings in Melbourne that are finding their amenity destroyed by Airbnb. A new campaign is being started by people who live in high-rise buildings, and they're calling it the We Live Here organisation. They've formed a group and they're calling a meeting. Marshall Delves is from the Watergate Apartments, which, Marshall, good morning to you. Where are your apartments? Good morning, John. Uh, we're in uh, Docklands, Waterview Walk in Docklands. And how does Airbnb impact on your amenity? Well, we've, we've had issues. We've been in litigation. The Owners Corporation has been in litigation for the last five years with service apartments and Airbnb in uh, our complex. And uh, we've been able to manage to reduce the number from 45 down to 14, but we're back in the Supreme Court on the 18th and 19th of this month to uh, an appeal a, a decision in VCAT, uh, basically saying we can't make rules to, um, to uh, limit uh, short stays in our building. So, uh, How does it impact you know, on you? Oh, it's terrible because, you know, you, you get um, people lobbying into uh, foyers and lobbies uh, through security doors, uh, following someone in. Um, we have suitcases laying around everywhere. There's a lot of wear and tear. No, no uh, extra money is paid by these owners uh, for wear and tear in the building or damage to the building. Um, and it's just, uh, you know, you're waiting for elevators because they're full of uh, luggage and, and uh, guests and uh, laundry. The laundry that comes in now, the building just unbelievable. And... Uh, uh, we had a special resolution recently where 95.5% um, uh, of owners at that meeting voted in favour of taking uh, legal action in the Supreme Court regarding uh, the short stays. And um, that the, um, uh, there was an interview on uh, the 730 report and, and the closing comment by the operator was, well, if owners don't uh, like uh, the service apartments in their buildings, they've been in their buildings, they should sell their apartments, move to the country and buy a farm. And that person had 4.5% of the support from uh, service department operators. And that's where the We Live Here uh, was formed by a uh, number of other buildings and residents in around Melbourne uh, having exactly the same issues. And, and in a short period of time from their launch on the 14th of um, December, we've now advocated for over 105 buildings in Melbourne and uh, hundreds of uh, members uh, now. And, and it's, uh, we've got a meeting with the Lord Mayor, uh, I'm astonished that 95.5% is not enough to change the rules or you, you can't actually go through with something like that. Well, we, we, John, we have the rules in place with a 30-day minimum stay, but um, trying going through VCAT uh, with rules and, and uh, they don't take a very uh, synthetic... Sure. Now, uh, other cities have dealt with the same thing. I think uh, many North American and European cities have come up saying, well, minimum 7, 14 or sometimes 20-day stays are the rules. So yeah. is Germany's that what you want done here? Yeah, well, that's right. Germany's the latest one now, and there's a big, uh, big push in Berlin to regulate the same thing. You know, like Melbourne's the most livable city, and has been for a number of years. But the way it's going with the accommodation side of things here, uh, governments don't have the will. We've tried to talk to Minister Wind and Minister Garrett, but um, they're not interested in talking to us. They're not interested in the uh, the situation. Uh, both both members of Parliament, uh, Labor and Liberals, went to. Um, to the last election with the promise of doing something about it and fixing it, but uh, it seems to be falling on deaf ears, and Melbourne's growing by the day. Sure, but this is the called week, the new the economy. I mean, it's the same with Uber, isn't it? It's No the... difference, whatever. You know, in our, in our recent uh, VCAT um, case where the, the operator here said he doesn't pay GST. He's a registered business. He's a business operator. He's found to be a business operator. Pays no GST. Mm. And, and a lot of them around Melbourne, it's, it's not a... And they try to put on it's a sharing economy. It's not a sharing economy. It's a taking economy. It's a stealing economy. <laughs> OK, interesting. So for people who want to get in touch, I presume you'll have a website or something? Yes, we do. We, people can contact us on um, www we live here, one word, dot net. We actually have a petition going at the moment uh, on change.org, John, uh, where people can uh, join our fight and also join the petition and vote against service departments, Airbnb, uh, and its um, unregulated short stay industry. And, and we need governments to take, take notice to um, do something about it. It's All right. unacceptable. Uh, good luck with it. And, and, and people could sign the petition also. Well, keep us posted because I think I, it's an issue that many people are interested in, although surprisingly from different perspectives, there are people who love what's happening and say, this is fabulous. I can go and stay for a couple of nights in Docklands and stay in exactly your apartment tower and I can enjoy it. And other people saying, no, don't want it. So keep us posted and let's see where it goes to. Thanks, Marshall. No worries, John. Marshall Bye. Dills from the Watergate Apartments.
in Docklands. We live here. Dot net. So see what you make of that. Anne from Mulgrave. Morning, Anne. Good morning, John. How are you? Good and well.